is here showing us how to make a couple of his Christmas market inspired eats. Hey, Spencer. Hello. How's it going? Hi. I'm really good. How are you? Oh my gosh. First off, I'm so amped that you are here. I'm so excited too. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the new season of your show, Comfort Food with Spencer yeah. Watts. That's huge. It was such a great series to film. It's really dear to my heart. And yeah. I think it's some of the best work we've done. Honestly, it's yeah. so great to watch. I love that you kind of break down what it's like making a cooking show. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think there's, I always say that I'm the sprinkle on the cupcake, yeah. but it's nice to see the whole cupcake. Yeah. Because it's uh, a lot of people come together to make it special and you get to see that. So it's kind of cool. It really is. It's yeah. so, so great. Well, okay. So today you are going to show us a couple of like holiday market inspired things. And we're talking yeah. first, what are these babies? Because they look good. Fried cheese. Fried cheese. Is, camembert yeah. is so delicious on its own, but camembert is great when you bake it. Everybody yeah. loves gooey cheese. Oh, yeah. But these are coated in pistachio and panko, so it really makes it nice and crispy. Okay. And then I sneak a little pink peppercorn okay. and cardamom in there. It gives it like a warm Christmassy vibe. Uh -huh. And then this winter jam has cranberry and raspberries in it. Uh, so the fruit and the cheese and the nuts and the spices, so delicious. And then the vessel yeah. is thick cut crostini with mold wine butter on it. I'm so, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, mold wine butter. Mold wine butter? Those so are my three favorite words. So again, some of those words. like Christmas baking spices in the butter, yeah. it's just so delicious. It looks fantastic. So These also, it's like a, camembert's kind of like a brie, so yeah. you could probably sub that out, but this is like, it's mm -hmm. like a cheese board all in one. Yeah. But also fried. I've even done it with cambenzola. Oh, it's with the got blue. With the blue in it. Oh. You're speaking my language. I, I feel like you're my new best friend, Delicious. sir. Okay. We can be best friends. Now, we are moving on to something you're going to show us how to make. Yeah. So what are we doing? Spatzla. Oh. It's uh, so easy to make. It's the <laughs> smallest dumpling. It's also an egg noodle and a pasta. I love it. I, I love it. can be all three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's start with the wet stuff. Perfect. So a couple of eggs. Beautiful. Yummy. So this is like a German tradition. Yes. Or traditional dish. And it's a batter. So mm. the story starts with the wet stuff. So mm. eggs a good shot of milk, mm -hmm. and then some sour cream for some tanginess and a little bit of cream. tartness. Beautiful. And this is beer mustard. Oh, okay. So beer mustard is the mustard seeds have been soaked in beer before it's been turned into mustard. Spencer, why don't you come here every day? So it's pretty yeah, safe yeah. to say that it's fairly relaxed mustard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's having a good time, so yeah. we can give that a whisk up. Beautiful. And this is really, really simple, and you can um, kind of take the mustard out. You could add Dijon mustard if you wanted to, yeah. or regular grain mustard. Totally. I just like the kick of that. It does give it a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. And then this is a little bit of nutmeg. The best way to explain the flavor of nutmeg mm -hmm. is Christmas. Christmas, it's for just sure. Christmas. Yeah. Uh, so you don't want a lot, just a little bit. You want to know that there's nutmeg in there. Nutmeg's the thing where you're like, what's that? And you don't yeah. really know, you know? Yeah, too much of it, and it, it can be wild, but just enough, just a little kiss yeah. is perfect. So and good. then in with the flour. So this is where you want to start making the batter. And this is where a little uh, grandma's cooking comes into play. This is the best. You know, because there's a little critical thinking here. You want to work with the food. You want to live in here. Yeah. This is delicious. You want a nice, thick batter. So I always have some extra flour around or some extra milk around. This is starting to look really good. You want the batter to just slowly cascade Whoa. off of the whisk. It kind of looks like fondue even... right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, how simple is this to make? You yeah. just made that special. Batter. Yeah. So to cook it, okay. this is what I like to do. Mm -hmm. um, so some boiling water, okay. and then there's uh, microplanes or graters. Mm -hmm. Use the back side of it. Oh, so something with a hole in it. Yeah. Okay. So you know your batter's good when you can kind of put it on there, and it doesn't fall through. Immediately. Okay. It just hangs there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you know you've done good batter. And then you just press it through the microplane. Oh, well, there it comes. And it just drops into the water. It's just like little teardrop dumplings. Yeah, they're so good. And yeah. then you can just keep doing this. And when it floats, it's done. Beautiful. And after a while, you have a ton of spatzle. Look at these little guys. So cool. And uh, so this is where some real flavor engagement happens. Because now that the dough's made, you want to get it really nice and crispy. Yes. So put it into a warm pan. Oh, nice. That Forget that sizzle. Sizz. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> and then a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. because you want it pretty flavorful, and some cracked pepper. Beautiful. Yummy. This is good. And I love getting a little crispiness on the on the spatula. It's delicious. Again, that brown flavor, it's free. You already made the thing. Yeah. Just heat it up a little flavor. more. You exactly. get a little caramelization on there. You can see some dark bits. Yeah. It's kind of frying in that oil. It sounds good. That's what makes it very tasty. Yes. And speaking of what's this over here? Okay. We said brown. Let's mm. make some more tasty stuff. Mm -mm -mm. So this is brown butter. Mm -hmm. And brown butter is simply just brown butter taken past the boiling point. Okay. And the milk solids start to toast. Yeah. And it gets really nutty. Yeah. And it's super delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's free. All you got to do is 
just buy is, butter. Uh, toast the butter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's go in with uh, some shallots. Okay, perfect. I love that soft onion flavor. Totally. Uh, and then capers, because they're mm. bright. And flavorful. Every flavor you're bringing is my dream flavor, it's Spencer. It's so good. Yep. And then lemon juice, because the buttery is really toasty and fatty, but that lemon juice will just drive through that butter. Yeah. A little touch of parsley. Perfect. Uh, and then you can mix that around. I like to give it a little kiss of salt. This on and, and a little and kiss of pepper. Yes. Yeah. This is giving me like kind of piccata vibes. Right? Yeah. Chicken. Oh, fish. Fish. Coffee. Yes. Whatever. You Hair. can put it in anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is really great. Oh, that looks beautiful. Those little brown bits. Uh, is where I want to live. That's delicious. Yeah, yeah. And then it's kind of opened up like a sponge. Add the caper brown butter. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh, and the smell immediately. Yes. And just as fast as that. It smells so good. It's so good. It's so good. And because, um, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so great. And they are little sponges, so this is great just like this, or you know, it has chicken or fish vibes, and you can put that on the bottom of anything, put yeah. a protein on it, well, base. and you're good to go. And just as easy as that, can we yeah. serve this baby up? Let's plate it. <laughs> Yummy. Twist my arm. It's easy to plate. It yeah. is poor. <laughs> oh my gosh. It now, smells so heavenly. It smells it? so, so heavenly. Yeah. A little bit of cheese on there. You gotta hit it with the cheese. Yes, please. Lots of Parmesan cheese, capers, tart. So delicious. Beautiful. Finish it with some parsley. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Spencer Watts, you are welcome so here anytime Thank you, man. That, that was fantastic. Well, congrats on season two of your show. I'm Thank so you. amped about it. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.